Chit Chat Thanks. Appreciate it. And three, two, one, action. But you were joking, right? Well, I did water. You know, because behind every joke, there's some truth. Yes, it was. So, essentially, you chose a bowl of soup over a woman. It was planned this. Do you realize that George has suddenly become much more normal than you? Really? Yeah. I mean, think about it. He's engaged to be married. Your top priority is soup. Well, have you tasted the soup? Yeah. Incredible, right? Yeah, you made the right decision. The way I look at it, it'd be much easier to patch up things with Sheila than with the suit guy. There he is. Elaine, I'm sorry about your opera. Me too. Here's what I want to know. Usually these run away. I know these guys weren't running away with their armbar. So what were you doing? Well, I was counting the 40, just like they told me to. Did they take your money? No. These are some strange thieves. They just fell in love with that armbar. Hello? It's George. Come on up. Have you guys noticed that George has been acting strange lately? No. In what way? I don't know, just kind of standoffish attitude. A lot of attitude. Like, like he thinks he's better than me or something. I don't think George ever thought he was better than anybody. Hello? Hi. Were you talking about me? <laughs> Absolutely not. Are you sure? Well, I'm going to go get some uh, soup. One of these days, that guy is going to get his. You don't understand. He's an artist who happens to work in soup. With each spoonful, you are getting to know that beautiful mustache. Oh. <laughs> so how was the movie? Oh, I didn't go. Sheila and I are kind of on the outs. Oh yeah? Yeah. So why are you happy? Happy. Why should I be happy? Well, I don't know, but you look like you're happy. Why should I care? Do you think you can fool me? Don't insult me. I know when you're happy. Okay, I'm happy, and I'll tell you why. The two of you are making me sick. Oh, is that so? Yeah, that's right. All the kissing and cooing in public, it was disgusting. Disgusting? People that do that should be arrested like you. Well, now I have all the more reason to get mad with you. Oh, well, go ahead. But we had a pact, you know. What? We shook hands in that coffee shop. Oh, still with the pack? Yeah, you relived. All I did was shake your hand. Ha! And ha! Just like that. One Cuban black bead, if you please. If you please? If you please. I'll allow it, but watch it next time. So continue. Like my Awfully disappointed with all. She's very emotional. How's the white chili soup today? Exceptional! But unfortunately, you will not have the chance to find out. What? You heard it. Now listen. You've been a good friend for many years. You're the only one who completely understands me. You're a complicated man. Well, you see, I have an armoire by a heart. But I never use it. So if you want to pick it up, you're welcome to it. So take it as yours. You are a great man. How can I possibly thank you? Is that your part for? Or fuck war? I am part Spanish. Unacceptable! Leave! Adios, senorita. <laughs> it was stupid. Well, it was very insulting. Very insulting. No, I know that. Well, I know that, but I was really sort of half kidding. You know, behind every joke, there's some truth. But what about that Bavarian cream pie joke I told you? There's no truth to that. Nobody's gonna go all the way from the United States to Europe just for a slice of Bavarian cream pie. It's just not true. Maybe you're right. So am I forgiven? Yeah, I guess so. Hi, Jerry. Oh, hey, Susan. Hey, George. Hello. Uh, George, are you remember Sheila? Yes. Hello. Won't you join us? No, no thanks. thanks. So you sit on the same side of the booth. Yeah, that's right. 
you have a problem? It's pretty unusual for two people to sit on the same side and leave the other side open. Well, we're changing the world. Well, good for you. So, honey, what are you getting? I don't know, honey. What are you getting? You can have anything you want if I love you so much and I want to make you happy. Okay, sweet pie? Oh, George, that's so sweet. Well, I can be a sweetie. Well, how about you, buddy? How about some tuna fishy? It's a cute little tuna fishy. Do you want a cute tuna fishy? Come here. You're the great doer. The great doer. What did you pay for this thing? Uh, how about zero? Well, who was it? Where did you get this? You want to know where I got it? Well, I'll tell you where I got it. I got it from the man you disapproved of me from birth to last, the soup Nazi. The soup Nazi? Gave this to you? Why? Because I told him the story of what happened, and he wanted you to have it. Because he's a wonderful man. I'll be misunderstood. I had this guy all wrong. I've got to go down there. I'm just personally thanks. Oh, this is wonderful. He's a dear. Expressing oh, your feelings so freely in front of Jerry and all, it just made me feel so good. Because I know that you did it for me. And just knowing that you're not embarrassed by those kinds of things, it's such a great step forward for us. Huh? <laughs> because you love your little Susie, don't you? I love my little Susie. And time! Hey, don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we all set to go? And three, two, one.
but you can't pull it off. Oh, look, Blue! For my baby Bluey. Are you my baby Bluey? I'm the baby Bluey. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, really? Because we're kind of not seeing each other anymore. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, well, she was very affectionate, which I love. I mean, you know I love that. But mentally, we just could not make the connection. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's too bad because you've got to have the affection, which you two obviously have. I just think it's so great that you two are so open with your affection in public. You know, we had that. You did. <laughs> yeah, but the mental thing. Alright, see ya. Bye. Yes, yeah, see ya. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, I went to the doctors yesterday and they told me they can't do anything about the rash. Where is it? Well, everywhere. It's all up and down my arms, you know. I went on a date the other night and wore this very sexy, revealing dress and <clears throat> when I reached across the table to grab the bread, flaked all over the place because I've been itching the whole time. He never called me back after that, so... That is a shame. No. Nope. Guess I'll have to live with the rash forever. <clears throat> Let's get started. Soup line number six. Three, two, one, action. I'll have one red hot pepper puree, but you don't have to fill it all the way. No soup. Next. What was wrong with that? Oh, you don't have to fill it all the way. Now move it up! 